in the first part of the video, we're actually going to be going over what the wand control valve does and why you may want one. In the second part of the video, we're actually going to be going over the install procedure in my personal vehicle. Manual transmissions have a number of advantages to offer the automotive enthusiast, namely driver feedback and more control. This added control does come with drawbacks. One of the biggest is the difficulty of launching at the drag strip. The first one and a half to two seconds are arguably the most crucial when it comes to having a good pass. If you let off the clutch too quickly, you can break traction, stall the engine, drop out of the power range, particularly for turbo applications, or worst case scenario, break something in the driveline. Let the clutch out too slowly and you burn up an expensive part. Finding the balance between a good hard launch and a burnt clutch can be a nerve wracking task. Add in the control necessary to have a good reaction time and you can see why some drivers prefer to race with an auto. In some chassis, particularly the four cylinder platforms, an auto is just not an option. The rear wheel drive guys, particularly those in the V8 platforms, do have the option of running autos, but most of them who do, do so out of wanting to be competitive or they're just a I've been informed that I shouldn't talk bad about other automotive enthusiasts, but for the three pedal guys out there, hopefully the SWS Motorsports uh, launch control valve will help have a little more fun at the drag strip and be a little more competitive. The launch control solenoid should be installed so that the side that has the metal hoop uh, is plumbed towards the clutch master cylinder. And then the other side, where both ends are brass, should be plumbed towards the clutch slave cylinder. The uh, launch control solenoid should also be powered via a relay if being controlled by a PCM or ECU. Solenoid should only draw between 3 to 4 amps of power. So this will require a relay when being controlled by a PCM. For a push button switch, direct power fused is acceptable. The system can be wired up to a switch so that the PCM can control it or a simple steering wheel thumb button or even a button on the shifter or a first gear selector switch also works. There's a number of different ways that this can be wired for it to work properly. Dump the clutch. And dump the clutch.